Hey, what's up guys? It's Nels here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you all of the new features in the Notes app on iOS 9. If we head over to the Notes app, here you can see all of my notes in my iCloud. The user interface has changed slightly. As you can see, there are now thumbnails on the side of the note, which show a little preview of any pictures, videos, or sketches that you might have in each of the notes. If you want to view all the attachments in one place, you can tap down here in the corner, and here you'll be able to view photos and videos, sketches, which I'll show you later, links to maps, and and websites. And if you tap on a photo, you'll have the option to go to that note. So if you tap on go to note, here you can see that I'm in the note where the attachment is. All right, so now let me show you guys the new toolbar that exists in the notes app. So here's the keyboard and you can see a plus sign here in the corner. If I tap on the plus sign, I can now access the brand new toolbar. I'm gonna go through all of these. So the one on the far left allows you to add checklists. So if I tap on that, you can see that now a checklist has been added. I can type in anything and that way I have a to-do list. So once I'm done doing something, I can just tap on it and you can see that it's checked off. So they are interactive. All right, now let me show you guys the formatting tools that exist in the toolbar. So if I tap here, I can add a title, I can add header, body, which is the regular type of text. You can also add a checklist directly from here. You can add bullet point list, a dash list, and also a numbered list. And this way your notes can be a little bit more organized than before. The next thing that you can do is you can attach photos and videos. You've been able to do this since iOS 8, but it's now easier. So all you do is tap on the camera icon and you can either choose a photo from your library or take a photo or video directly from the app. If I tap on a photo, it will now be added to the notes app. Finally, in the toolbar, you can tap on this squiggle, which allows you to add sketches to your notes. So here in the editor, I'll be able to choose from a marker, a pen, a pencil, uh, there's even a ruler for you to draw straight lines. So if I put out the ruler and use the marker, I'll be able to draw a straight line, which is pretty neat. You can change the color. Uh, there are over 20 colors to choose from. That way, if you have any ideas, you can easily jot them down. Here's an undo and also redo in case you make mistakes. When you're done, it'll exist just like this in your notes. In addition to adding photos and videos, you can also now add attachments. So here I am in Safari and here is an article that I'm reading. I can send this directly to the notes app. So all I do is tap on the share icon and here in the share sheet, I go to notes and now I can select which note I want to place this article in. So I'm going to choose a note, scroll down to this month in astronomy. You can also add text to the note. Uh, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to tap on save. And now when I head over to the notes app, I can go to this month in astronomy and you can see my links here. And here's the one that I just added. And if you tap on it, it'll open up in Safari. You can do the same thing in Apple Maps. Here's my current location, so I can again tap on the share icon and select notes from the share sheet. I'll add a text, my location, tap on new note, create new note, and then hit save. Here's a new note that I created with the text and the location. Finally, if you're tired of having all of your notes in one place, you can now create folders. So tap down here on new folder. You can either save them on your iCloud or your iPhone. So let's say you want a folder with just poems. You can hit OK. And that's it for the notes app on iOS 9. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and check out the full tutorial over at Kajax. All right, thanks guys.